Where does the carp go? Thanks to an effort by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, the Nebraska Game and Parks Commission, and volunteers, we are getting better at answering that question at Hackberry Lake on the Valentine National Wildlife Refuge. And hopefully, the answer for many carp at this north central Nebraska lake will eventually be away from the lake. Carp are not native to the waters of Nebraska and can wreak havoc on habitat for other fish and waterfowl. That's why Mark Linval, who recently retired from the Fish and Wildlife Service, applied for and received a grant to equip 15 carp from Hackberry Lake with radio transmitters. That way, those fish can be followed with the use of telemetry equipment. Chris Chazinski, a fishery scientist with the University of Nebraska at Lincoln, explains the transmitters and the process for putting them in the carp. So we're pulling out the surgical equipment. So we've got some scalpels, um, hemostats, scissors, all prepping for the, the surgery. We're gonna put them in some ethanol, sterilize them. So the surgery involves um, removing a few scales and then we're going to put a small incision in them and then we poke a hole that we can feed the antenna out through them and then we put a few sutures in to close it back up once we got the, the um, receiver in there. So here's the body of the tag. Um, we have the antenna. This part's external. sticks outside of the fish. This part right here is a magnet on it right now that'll keep it from activating, save the battery life. But when we put it in the fish we'll take this off and instantly it'll start beeping on, on the receiver. So The goal is to reduce the population of carp in Hackberry, thereby improving the lake's habitat. The project calls for the assistance of the Nebraska Game and Parks Fisheries Division and two of the agency's electrofishing boats. A group of researchers and volunteers gathered in mid-July to catch carp. In addition to the 15 fish with radio transmitters, another 290 were captured and returned with clipped fins for future identification. The special marking, along with the telemetry data, will help the researchers determine if it will be feasible to net enough carp to make a notable difference. With the use of bait, the researchers hope to lure the carp to a net 8 feet tall and 70 by 70 feet wide. The huge net will be pulled from the water this winter when the carp are congregating in tight schools. The researchers admit that they won't get all the carp, but they'll call the project a success if they can put a sizable dent in the rough fish population of the 680 acre lake. If nothing else, they'll have a much better idea about where the carp goes. For the Nebraska Game and Parks Commission and Nebraska Land Magazine, this is Justin Haig.